before you do anything please smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already also join the telegram group below today will be a very quick video to just go through the technical difficulties and release some of the pain points i know that other people are encountering when creating a strong note and claiming strong rewards to therefore create another node um if you notice for those of you that have tried to create a node i'm just going to do it right now uh test node test node blah blah so first thing you do when you first create a node there are two steps so first thing you're going to do is click submit here and there's going to be a metamask pop up then you'll see a loading button right here it's going to be like a result revolving circle right here wait it might take like four or five minutes just wait and then you should get another metamask prompt and in both occasions if you have your ledger connected you need to approve it on there and one quick trick if you're having issues with getting the notification you know from the metamask approval after you click confirm you're not seeing it pop up on the ethereum app you may want to exit the ethereum app so quit go open up another app quit that and then go back to ethereum and usually that has been working for me and it just pops right up and I go improve the transaction. So just a quick tip there. So let's go ahead and click this. Let's see. All right, so first we're just gonna get, uh, basically we're just gonna allow, we're basically giving strong the uh, approval to spend our strong. And I believe this covers our $15 monthly maintenance fee. Yeah, so we're grant, from my understanding, we're granting permission and also paying this $15 fee. So once you approve that, you will click confirm. Then you need to approve on your device, your ledger, or if you don't do that, you should have a MetaMask, your money in your MetaMask, your strong in your MetaMask. Make sure you have 10 strong in there and make sure you have at least, I would say $100 worth of Ethereum to create a node because this one costs about $20 as you can see, and it will pop up with another, another approval. And from my experience has been around 70, 70 to $80 just for that part on top of the 10 strong that you need in your ERC 20 wallet, obviously. So that's that. Um, so when the next pop up comes around, I'm going to uh, show you guys, I have a recording of it. So it won't be me talking. It'll just be a silent version with the music and it, I'll show you how I adjust it. But one thing to keep in mind, it's going to pop up. I've seen two, three, four, five thousand dollar $5,000 uh, fees that it would suggest as the default uh, price will have to pay what you want to do is go to ethgasstation.info i will pin that below make sure you always refresh this is something you want to bookmark pin it save it in your notes in your phone somehow so as you can see here it's the main thing you just want to pay attention to is these numbers so if you have the money and you can spend the money go ahead and put 170 so your transaction gets approved like asap but if you're just trying to save money you ideally want to do this on Sundays. From my experience, it has been cheapest on Sundays. And then you will go to this page and choose this. So it says 120 right here. Usually you can get, get away with about 10 less than that. So in an ideal situation, if this was a Sunday, I would go ahead and put 118 as my gas price. And then from my experience, when creating a note, your gas. So anytime you do a transaction, your gas limit and your gas price is what you can change gas price is like what you're paying per gallon at the gas pump right so out here in california you may pay you know over so like four dollars per gallon so this is what we're setting right there but the gas limit is very important because if you don't have enough on the gas limit you basically that's that's equivalent to like putting one gallon in your car and expecting to drive from la to san francisco it's not gonna happen you're not gonna make it it's gonna cancel your transaction take your gas and transactions done and you got to retry again and you lost that gas fee so you have to have enough gas limit for your transaction to go through um so another case may be you have enough gas limit so I would say your gas limit is very high and you're good to go but your gas price is like super low on the minor side of things the other ones transact transacting are, are they're transacting our transactions if that makes sense and if your gas price is super low they're not going to want no parts in there. They want more money. So that your, your transaction may just sit there and sit for a while. So in that case, you're kind of in the same boat. You may have to just cancel. If you're in a rush, just cancel that transaction. Uh, you're going to lose about 5 to $10 maybe just for that transaction cancellation. And I will walk you guys through how to do that. And that's another technical MetaMask transaction you have to do. And you just retry again with the higher gas price according to these numbers. So the main thing is make sure that you know 
what previous transactions have worked as far as the gas limit goes, because gas limit, usually to create a no, you need about 400,000 on the gas limit. MetaMask will usually suggest over a million. So it makes you pay like way more than you should. So just make sure your gas limit is about 400,000 and then go here to set your gas price. So I'll put a video after this. Um, with that, I'll close this video out. Let's stay healthy and get wealthy.
And something new that I just now launched is a one-on-one -on -one working session opportunity for those that are the more kinesthetic learners. I think I said that right. The more hands-on learners um, that are newbies and they want to get more familiar with, you know, the technical side of crypto, how to interact with smart contracts, how to properly stake, how to properly, you know, earn money from your crypto, how to um, use MetaMask correctly, um, how to adjust your gas fees whenever you see extremely high gas fees for things like creating a node or claiming fees or just anything in the DeFi space that is purely technical that is, you know, a foreign language to the newbie that is coming, you know, from, you know, regular daily life. So I wanted to make sure I provide the service to meet those needs. I have been doing a lot of kind of ad hoc one-on-ones and um, I guess walking through people of, you know, different processes on Telegram. So I want to make sure I provide a Zoom one hour session to those that really need the help and could use the help. Because in my opinion, I'm charging $50 per hour paid in Bitcoin. I believe, you know, the service is way more, it's worth way more than that due to the benefit you'll get from being able to, you know, gain the skill set to be able to, you know, interact with smart contracts as we are still early in the DeFi space. And um, Lord knows, you know, where these cryptos will go in price and um, as they appreciate in value, not only during this cycle, but during the next cycle. So just gaining that skill set now to not only, you know, interact and invest yourself, but obviously to uh, gain generational wealth and also be able to teach those around you the skill set that I can provide. Um, let's see. I can actually go to the link right now. Uh, never mind. I'll keep that up. So if you're interested, there's a link below in the description, and I'll also pin a comment at the top of the comment section so that you can check it out with what services are offered or if there's anything that's not covered that you would like to be offered.